Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, March 17th, and that means it is the final week for the Love is in the Air, Medals in Love uh, collaboration hop on YouTube with, uh, hosted by Hele Elemental Designs, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. And Crafting with Isabel Labori. Hi, Isabel. The other participants are Judy Evans Parker, New York Styles It All, Crafting with Ivy, Crafts and More with Donna Jackson, and Creative Moments with Dorinda. And as you know, probably by now, I've been doing both the Metals in Love, which is steampunk, and um, Love is in the Air, which is more vintage shabby chic kind of style. And I have to tell you, if you've seen, I've only seen two of the videos so far this morning. And if you have seen them, uh, you already know what it is. If you have not, we had to do dimensional paper dresses styled in our chosen theme. Honestly, I could not wrap my head around this one. And I procrastinated because... I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I still don't want to do it, <laughs> but I did. Um, so let me um, show you what I did for the steampunk. I didn't have steampunk paper. Um, now Carmen was nice enough to give us um, patterns that were, um, Shelly Geibel did some videos on both steampunk and um, like garden type dresses and they were what I just do with that I just had a paper here hang on they were oh here it is um using things by JNS hobbies and crafts and um it it has it's patterns by Valerie but it designs by Shelly S-H-E-L-L-I-E Geigle G-E-I-G-L-E I believe on YouTube. So anyway, the videos were by Shelly, but these patterns were JNS Hobbies and Crafts com. Now these were um, from 2017 and I had trouble finding the patterns on the website. So Carmen was nice enough to give several of them to us. And then some of the pages weren't to scale. <laughs> so it was really a problem. And finally, Carmen uh, was able to find several of them that had um i were supposed to have had the dimensions right but i think the steampunk ones were a little off still anyway um let me tell you what i did i used papers out of this um dark floral paper pad because i thought it was dark i actually used this um you're not able to see this real well this sort of red and black design here it's sort of a purpley red and black but it's I don't it's too much glare um, and then I used another one it was like one of those big sheets well I'll show you the pieces the pieces I have left this is the main skirt and then the bodice um, well, actually, the underskirt is in this, and it has a pattern to it, but I didn't do the underskirt right, and I had to use two pieces of that, so then the bodice ended up being this sort of just gray. It was one of those sheets that has, like, an all-over with, it just has this on it, so that's the paper I used, and it's only single-sided, and I will say to anyone doing this in the future, Use double-sided paper and try to use non-cardstock. This is cardstock paper and it does not pleat very well. So that was the first issue I started having. So, and then some other things I used were some one big jump ring, one black bow. These were from Charlize's Crafty Corner in that loaded bag she gave me. I don't think I ended up using those. I use black Rick Rack. Um, I had this ribbon, which um, was polyester cord. It's blue moon beads. Anyway, it was a longer piece, really pretty ribbon. I used um, two bits of that. 
and I was digging for bling and I found these um, industrious stickers by Tim Holtz and I used two strips of those and you'll see how I did those and two of the corner pieces. I used one round bling. Um, I used some red heart blings too. Oh, here they are. These like this. Um, I only use one round one and then I use some of these dazzles, um, the butterflies and a couple of the flowers in silver and a bunch of um, red line tape, some smaller jump rings, um, some, oh I used all four of these little bee um, love keys. I used one of these hearts and I used some sort of antique silver chain, some smaller jump rings, and some of this black sequin trim. I really had wanted to use black lace, but I couldn't. The black lace I have, I couldn't. It didn't work. So anyway, let me show you what I did. I, I have to tell you, this is not my favorite project and I don't think I'll ever do this again. But And I don't even know how to show this to you other than to layer down. Um, I don't know. How am I going to do this? Let me get this out of the way so there's less distraction in the background. Um, yeah, not the best camera angle. So, there. Maybe like that. Okay, now the pattern had a couple things I didn't use. I didn't use the corset like Donna Jackson did because she used the same pattern. Um, I also didn't make the top hat. There's the top hat. I did use the collar, but I wrapped it in that red ribbon and put a black bow on the front. And that is attached at the back, but you can see it's white on the inside, and I don't like that. But anyway, I could. Donna was smart and, and uh, put some stuff on, paint stuff on the inside, and I should have done that too. So the Tim Holtz stickers I used as a trim around the... Um, this lighting is just around the arms and also here at the collar and you know over on this arm here's some of those little butterflies these are the two corner pieces yeah I know that's kind of weird but oh well <laughs> steampunk is kind of weird um this is what they call the outer skirt and it does go up in the front and I you see I put the black rickrack all along the bottom on the inside. Here is the underskirt but I connected the pieces wrong so it looks real small so it's more like a stand for this outer skirt. It's supposed to be nice and wide and hooked together with Tyvek and I didn't do that and so it's not right but anyway there you go. The black sequins I only use going down this the front um, the front and the two pieces right on the edge of the front. I wrapped the waist with more of that ribbon and just tied a knot and then I needed somehow to put these keys on and I was only going to put one hanging here um, but then I realized they spell out love um, so here's the L whoops well yeah is it somehow yeah it is all right and anyway, yeah it goes like that l and there's a butterfly and then this one is the and i didn't take those dots off yet or anything oh i kind of got to a point where like oh that's enough that's enough time spent on this <laughs> v and e and i just put the butterflies under where those keys were i put another little charm on that says made with love which I can't even show to you. These are so big. These are like, let me measure for you. Because they're, they're, I thought they were going to be smaller, honestly. If I had it to do again, I'd make petite little dresses. These are like, um, uh, well, probably 12 inches with the inner skirt. About 11 um, for the outer skirt up through the top of the collar. And then they're wide too. They're like, mm, I don't know eight or nine inches wide when you stand them up properly so that's my that's my steampunk skirt I didn't do any painting or altering of the paper other than to put stuff that I put on it on it and um, 
yeah that was hard enough guys i just i don't know i don't really like it and the hot glue was giving me a problem especially with the sequins here and then if i tried to fix it it would start tearing the paper and i didn't want that so that's my project i hope i hope you like it sorta <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not real steampunky. I don't have gears. I just have hearts and keys because they went with the red and the background paper. And um, I kind of like, I kind of like that ribbon on it, though. Um, yeah. So anyway, that is my first one. And now we're going to get into Love is in the Air. Oops, sorry. This is twisting. Which, of course, is the vintage shabby steampunk. So let me show you what I used for that. Um, the papers I used were these. This is what I used for the bodice. And then this um, looks like wallpaper damask, I guess they call that. Um, they came out of this peri and peach, which I had not broken into. And I was thinking it would be all peach, but this is more pink to me it also has the periwinkle and it double-sided so I was thinking of doing pink with the periwinkle and then I thought no nah, it looks too babyish like too so I just went with the pink with rose gold foiling for the bodice and this um, damask I had to use two sheets of that because I couldn't get you had to cut eight pieces for the top skirt which is pleated and the underskirt would have been pleated, but I decided not to do the underskirt on this one. <laughs> so, and then I used one pink heart. I used some of this um, flower trim I had um, just gotten at Hobby Lobby not long ago online on sale. It was half price, so I got it for $4. I used some of this that I've had in my stash for a while from Michael's. It was that double sticky pearl trim flat back pearl trim adhesive trim back when they had the dollar fifty bins that had stuff like this in it i wish they'd get more stuff like that in it maybe they do i just haven't been to michael's for a while i used all but this piece of this lace ribbon trim really pretty it's almost got some iridescence to it i used quite a few of these little um, prima flowers these are carlotta i don't know that they are available anymore this style i used one of these flowers um, by recollections and it's a smaller one i used a lot of hot glue um let me see what else anything else hmm. i don't know maybe not okay let me just bring it in now on this one um I made a little shawl for her because I thought she would get cold perhaps in the chilly summer evenings so I don't like so this I just have a rose gold paper clip with a little uh, rose on it as her shawl and I could just pull it off along with a glue string <laughs> so this is the dress I made um, it was eight sections pleated and then what you do is you hook it together with Tyvek. Now Tyvek is the only piece that oops the only piece of Tyvek I had was one of these priority mail mailing envelopes. So I picked the part of it like this that was all white except it has print on the back. So so some of them I got the red shows the red print still shows on the inside. Some it shows white. Um, but at least this paper is double-sided, so when you look in here, you don't see plain white. You see like a pink, boy, that's terrible lighting, pink uh, floral, even on the inside. So here I put the pearl trim that I showed, the adhesive pearl trim, all around the, the back. This is the back, and you'll see I have the little floral trim. Now this... Um, I had to put it up to the waist before I put the bodice on and that was a little tricky getting that bodice in there Let me tell you it's still a little funky 
And um, then back over to here, I put three of those little flowers from Prima there and there, the pink heart in the middle, and then one paper flower here and two over here. And I think I used my very last one of those on the paper clip to hook the, to hook the shawl together. And um, then this is the one white flower that was, who was that made by? I forget. Mm -hmm. Recollections. That was recollections. And then this trim all the way went all the way around the waist. And then down at the bottom I have the pearl adhesive trim and a prima flower in the center of each section of the pleats. And I thought that came out cute without going too over the top. Um, so to me, that's my simple chic. Uh, style but I like it it's really hard to get this these bodices to stay keep from sliding up off the pleats and um, I actually did what she recommended and put some tabs with um, you know tape tape stuff on them and they still don't really if they still keep popping off sometimes so I have three tabs between the skirt and the back in here and I had two in the front and they're off and one of them's over on the side now and the other one is just gone. <laughs> it went on the back instead because it's really hard to keep that on. But I think that turned out pretty. So let me know what you like. Um, this one is my fave this time. And But I have no idea what I'm going to do with either one of these because... Honestly, they're not my thing. I It's not the kind of thing I'll have sitting around my house for decor. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And it's not really anything I can ship because I'd have to put them in like a priority medium box. And that's it's not worth it to me to ship them anywhere. So, they'll stay up here in my craft room for a while until I get sick of looking at them. And then they'll probably be discarded. I might take some of the things off of them. But, um, yeah, not my thing. So, I have to say this was my least favorite week out of everything. Even the jar I had trouble with, I like doing better than these. <laughs> so, this one I did uh, had less trouble with because I'd already done this one. But I could have gone, there was a floppy hat I could have made with this. But it probably would have taken me another hour just to do the hat. And I just, I didn't want to do it. Sorry. Um... So anyway, that's that's my projects. Now, I did say I'd have a giveaway. Uh, it will not be any of my projects from the hop, but it will be um, some crafty goodies. I just don't have everything pulled together yet. It's been a rough week for my mother and for me having to deal with stuff going on with her. And um, so I just haven't had time to pull it together. So probably... Oh, goodness. Probably Thursday, I'll come back with another video um, and show what the giveaway will be. If It'll be a box of crafty goodness, and I'll probably only have one. Um, it'll be a mix of crafty stuff. There'll probably be some lace and trims, some flowers, and maybe a paper, small 6 by 6 paper pad, and... Um, some other, you know, things that we use. Bling, sequins, I don't know. Um, if you're interested in that, all you have to do this time is leave a comment down below this video that says, first of all, which project this week did you like best? Um, or did you not like them and why? I, be honest with me. And the um, next thing is you have to say that you would like to have the, you'd like to uh, have a chance at the giveaway. And then whoever does that on Thursday, I'll probably use a random comment picker and keep going until I get one that indicates that they'd be interested in the box of crafty goodness. Okay. So that's it. I'm making it pretty easy this time. It would be nice if you go back and watch all of my videos. I will link the playlist. Um, and it would be nice if you watched everyone else's that's in the collab too. But I'm not, I don't have time to check all that this time. So 
All you have to do is comment down below that you'd like to have a chance at the Crafty Goodie, goodie Box and um, would tell me which of the projects you liked the best this week and why. Or if you didn't like them at all, why? <laughs> So that's it, guys. Please hop along to some of the others. I know Donna Jackson and Judy Evans Parker have their videos up. I don't know if the others do yet or not. I haven't had a chance to check and see who else has theirs up yet. So, yeah, go, um, go check everybody out. And thank you so much for participating, watching our hop. It's been fun. Carmen and Isabel, except for this week. <laughs> No, this last one, this one was fun for me. The other one, making it was not so much fun. And I mean, I watched those videos several times and every time I saw them, I saw something different that she did that there were no written instructions. And I don't really think the pattern was exactly right for the part of the steampunk one. Because um, anyway, I don't know. Um, but this one seemed to work out just fine. And, um, and but I cheated and didn't do the underskirt. Oops. It would have only just had another smaller pleated thing sticking out about another inch and a half. And I didn't really like it in the video. So I, that's why I didn't do it. I think it's pretty the way it is. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Until the next time. Let's see. Next uh, time I'll be back will probably be my Tuesday night live. And let's see if I can tell you. I don't remember uh what which stampin up products i'll be using but it will be stampin up products and uh, i hope to see you there 7 p.m tuesday evening thanks a lot hugs love and peace